Now I'm very excited to welcome back the best football proxy in all of Las Vegas from footballcontest.com, Mr. Vegas Maddie. You can follow him on Twitter at Vegas underscore Maddie. Maddie, welcome back, my man. Uh, Thank I you. Hear, happy to be here. I hear there's money to be made in Vegas. Right now there is. Yeah, these overlays are pretty big. I don't expect that to be the case when we cross the finish line on September 9th. But right now, I mean, you're looking at like an overlay of what close to a little less than $5 million in the Circa Survivor and about 6 million in the Circa Sports Million. So those numbers are going to shrink up like as uh, we get closer to NFL kickoff time. But right now it's looking pretty juicy. Oh, wow. So, so the overlays at 6 million, I thought the guarantee was 6 million for the millions. Um, well, yeah, for the, for the millions. Sorry. I, I think I, what did I say? You said, I think the overlay is still huge, like 4.5 million, right? Yeah. For the million. Sorry. Yeah. The million is about four and a half million. I think, well, they've got uh, the, yeah, the 6 million for, for, the uh, million, and I think they've got close to two million. Um, not uh, what am I? What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's all all these millions, Derek. You're messing with me, man. With all these <laughs> yeah. numbers, he's uh, upped it. He's okay, upped it, so man. Let's break it down. There's a little. There's around two thousand entries so far in the Circus Sports Million. So that okay. makes the overlay about four million dollars, correct? Based on the yes. six million dollars and guaranteed in the Circus Survivor, you're looking at there's over uh, 3,000 entries, so that's about $5 million in overlay so far. So those numbers are going to get smaller as we get closer to the last three weeks. But um, does that make sense? Yes. It, I feel <laughs> like I had you on last year about this time. As a matter of fact, I just pulled up, and it was August 17th of 2022. Okay. And I remember that this num there was much less people in by now. I think it was in the hundreds almost. At this point, aren't we trending a lot more people so far compared to last year? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was the hundreds. It's it had to be like I would have to think both contests were well over a thousand last year. I mean, I think the circus survivors trending towards like ten thousand right now. So that all that money goes back in the pot, obviously. With the circa million, um, I think that's going to be a little bit more of a stretch. You can kind of look at the entry numbers and triple them at least. So if you're looking at, you know, 17, 1800 in the Circa Sports Million, you know, that puts you pretty close to the 6,000. And then in the, in the Survivor, with over 3,000 entries already, you're looking at like between nine and, and 10,000 if you triple the, that number. So I, I think that's a pretty accurate way to look at it. I mean, I think it's going to, the, the Circa Sport, uh, the Circa Survivor is definitely going to go over the 8,000 entries. It's just how much more it's going to go if it's going to hit 10 million. Because you know Derek's going to guarantee $10 million next year. So he wants to make yeah. sure that he can, he can hit that higher number if possible. And the, yeah, the Circa Sports Million has had an overlay the last, uh, like last year, it was about 1.4, something like that. I, I want to say there was 4,600 entries and it was a guaranteed 6 million. And then um, this year it's, stay the same so it's still six million and the biggest difference is the max number of entries has grown from three to five in the circus mm -hmm. sports million and in the circus survivor you can do up to 10 survivors which is up from six so guys who want to max out their survivors you know they do their 10 and then they get a couple friends to do 10 each and then they all of a sudden they end up with 30 and then they go from there so um that that's where you're going to see the um the entries really like grow down the stretch is this people maxing yeah. out their entries. And to remind everybody and for any new listeners out there, what, what we're talking about here. And I mean, I know Manny and I just got like right into it. These, these overlays. <laughs> Throw numbers just, at me all over the place. It confused me. <laughs> it's positive EV when there's overlays, right? I mean, obviously if there's yes. a contest that's given away $10,000 with a $10 entry and there's 10 people in it, uh, yeah, you better get in it, right? It, it, it's it's that thought process because there's no rake. Circa gives it all away. And the circus kind of the big one right now that took over for the super contest. The super contest was the granddaddy of them all. There's arguments to be made both ways. The super contest shows also a great time for people. And then that was the original way back to the days where it was the Hilton before the super book. But um, what Maddie can do right here is get you guys in anywhere 
in the country or actually in the world. So basically, these are the most prestigious football contests in all of the world, uh, all based on the NFL. There's a few college ones here and there. But right, right now, Vegas has rules that somebody has to be there to make the bets or place the bets in. And this is where football contest kind of comes in and helps you guys out. So all you have to do is either visit Vegas once or if you know somebody in Vegas, they can sign up for you and uh, you can get in from pretty much any time and don't have to be there to put your picks in. Is that accurate? Very accurate. I just want to clear one thing up. We like to say picks instead of bets just because bets, a lot of people will then contact us and say, hey, can you throw money down on this game for me? Do you guys do that too? And that's a, that's a big no-no for us. We have to do it. It's a handicapping contest. So the picks must go through us. There's um, set lines that do not change. If there was ever a contest with lines that changed, I don't think we would be able to do what we're doing just because that's uh, it's all a matter of timing, as you know, with uh, how the stuff works. But yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the big difference. But yeah, everything else was, uh, was pretty accurate. So yeah, you want to get to Vegas between now and the Saturday before the NFL season kicks off and you want to sign up in person. We had our first client from Guatemala that came in yesterday. He was Ooh. very excited. He was he did three entries into the Survivor, and he said, I've done very well here, but now I'm ready to compete with the big boys in, in the United States. So I'm excited for him. He, he was so giddy when, when he signed up, and uh, I, was, I was excited for him. And that's, that's one of my favorite things about this job is just seeing people get in it for the first time and just how excited they are to, to be a part of it. So, yeah, get down here in Vegas to the Circus Sports um, a Circa uh, Resort and Casino downtown. You got to see that sports book, too. I mean, it's just amazing. I know you're going to be out there yeah. next week. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're doing their big um, ultimate uh, contest weekend, um, August 25th and 26th, which is actually 24th, 25th, 26th. I think the media, like yourself, comes out on Thursday, right? And then, um, yeah, they'll have events that Friday and Saturday and we'll be set up in the sports book from um, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's August 24th through 26th. You just want to meet with us, get signed up. Then basically you'll be able to submit your picks online through our website and uh, hopefully cash a big check at the end. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what it's all about. But it's not just that there's many contests in these as well. So that's a great thing. Let's say you have a bad start. You, still could win a week like five or it's, it either starts at five or six, six or 10, something like that. Cause there's many there's yeah, the four quarters. So the quarters are worth, I believe like 300,000 and that includes the booby prize, which is finishing with the worst record over that period. Yeah. And yeah, they're four, four and five week quarters. And yeah, you could win a lot of money. I mean, the tricky part is trying to get that great record. We have a lot of guys who get excited going in the last week that they're writing contention for one of those. And the problem is, is once you're once you're that close, you gotta pull a four and one or five and zero oh that last week, or else someone else will pass you, and then a bunch of people end up um, tying for the prize. So it gets broken down a little bit, but it's still a pretty nice chug of change. Absolutely, there is, and that's how it's so great about it. You're always in it, really, at least until the very end, and that's what's important. And you want to stay interested. And unlike Survivor, you're out, you're out, man. But Survivor is definitely the bigger payout. When it comes to the end, if you can be one of those very few people, and there was just very few people at the end last year, I think what three, three or so yeah. won it. Yeah, it, it, it was uh, uh, intense. It's very, yeah, it's competitive. I mean, three is is like probably it's one of the lowest they've had, I believe. I mean, I think um, the first year they did it, thirty five people tied, and they each had uh, won seventy thousand dollars, but the guarantee was much much lower than it is now so now that it's up to eight million dollars man i mean even if they split you know you could still split that uh you know eight ways and have a million dollars if i do my math correctly <laughs> well that's a great situation to be yeah. in man you can make those deals and they'll reach out to you too if you're there you'll you'll have some opportunity you can talk to some financial advisors or some betting geniuses if you want to figure out exactly how to hedge your bet there's different right. ways of doing it as it's well the easiest I mean, thing to do as we saw last year there was a possibility to win on christmas eve and by uh by one uh particular entry and um the raiders messed that up by losing if the raiders would have won that game somebody would have cashed for the six million at the time which is which is absolutely nuts but uh i mean just imagine being in that position it's christmas eve like 
banks aren't open. You don't know you're even going to be in that position to try to hedge a bet. And then, and then what do you get down in that situation? Like, what would you, what would you bet on the Steelers in, in that game to try to make it worth your while? Um, but it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Once you get kind of past Thanksgiving, that's when it gets real. Cause you got to get through that uh, extra week. There are two extra weeks. So you do have to go 20 and oh to win the money. Um, and um, yeah, Christmas week, there's, there's a, a few games and then a few extra games and then Thanksgiving week. So you gotta, you gotta make two picks those two weeks and man, it's, it's, it's difficult. We had three guys, our last three guys all went out on Christmas Eve as well. So it's a little heartbreaking because some of one, one of them in particular had a great chance to, to get to the very end and, yeah, to have the took yeah, the line. Yeah, none the of them made it. None, none of them actually even made it all the way. But they they, they were the last end, so they all split it, right? Well, yeah, no, they they were they were the, the people that made it last year made it all the way to the end. Oh, they made it okay, okay, because yeah, no, normally end, our guys, a, yeah, the three guys that we had, three guys, that you, three remaining survivors, okay, walked out on uh, Christmas Eve. They had um, the Lions against the Panthers. I'll never forget that game. It wasn't even close. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, um, yeah a couple. Uh, Titans picks with Malik Willis as the quarterback, which was tough. Brutal. And that comes to the strategy. You know, you can, yeah. you have to look at Thanksgiving, you have to look at Christmas, and you have to leave a couple of those teams out. And, you know, there might be the one that's like, I'm saving this, I'm saving this for, th for right. Christmas. And all of a sudden, their freaking quarterback goes out. Yeah, and, I know. I mean, was you, that Kyler Murray situation, right, last year? Yeah, like I mean, that. you look at the situation now, like the Chiefs being one of the, the, the top teams to save towards the end of the season, and, you know, God forbid uh, Mahomes gets hurt or something like that, and you're stuck with uh, was Blaine Gabbard. Now. <laughs> oh. You never, you just never know. You never know what's going to happen. He he was uh, a quarterback at the end of the year uh, one year when we had um, uh, contest in the super contest going for the win on a Sunday night, and um, he he was the starting quarterback for Mariota um when he was playing for the titans i believe and so the titans have not been good for my clients over the years that's oh sure. i bet they've been rough on all of our sports betters as well yeah all of so that's yeah the titans are definitely a low mark to talk about uh what time are the entries due for each contest through footballcontest.com and through the actual book itself yeah the book's a little later we try to give ourselves uh a good amount of time to get all the entries in, but our deadlines, which I believe are the latest are 1 PM Pacific time on Saturday uh, for the circus sports million and survivor. And then the super contest, we have a later deadline of 4 PM Pacific time. So if you want to get into the super contest too, super contest weekend is this weekend, the 18th and 19th, this Friday and Saturday. And we will be set up Tony, my partner, Tony, she'll be hosting a party in the clubhouse. So if anybody in town, on Saturday, noon to five, stop by, get signed up for that one. And the cool thing about the super contest is there's even more ways to win. There's 11 in-season contests. And um, yeah, which is really cool. Uh, the, the season long um, totals are not what they used to be. That, that used to be like the first true million dollar winner. They had a couple of those uh, a few years ago, but um, now it's a much smaller prize, but you do have those 11 in-season contests. Craziest thing I've seen, Last year, we had a client start 10, 19, and 1. You think he, there's no chance he's going to win any money. He ended up winning $120,000 in the second half of the season in those in-season contests. So Ooh. that just goes to show the winner of the Super Contest last year won $198,000. The winner of the entire season. And this wow. guy won $120,000. Ryan Nomics, I'm going to throw his name out there. He's uh, moved to Vegas. He's a... Uh, He's a resident here now, and um, yeah, he's he's trying to attack these uh, co contests from different angles, and yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll see him do well again this year. But I mean, he ended up fifty eight percent for the season after start, starting ten nineteen and one, so it's a pretty great story. And that's just and you one sign people in that one, and you sign people up in Vegas. They just don't want to get, sometimes go make their picks in certain places that require. Yeah, them. no, we've yeah. got some locals that uh, yeah, they they'd rather. Um, us put them in. We're kind of like their alarm clock when they know that they need to get their picks in. That way they don't forget. Um, you know, we see every year that that there's there's entries in Survivor that uh, don't get in. We're proud to say we've never missed a pick in Survivor, and because um, you'll pick them for us, right? Like, yeah, we will. But I mean, honestly, the 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 guys who are in the Survivor contest are the most serious uh, 
contest <laughs> players, they don't want to throw that thousand dollars away. So we'll make every effort we can to get a hold of them. And yeah, it, it, we had a couple close calls last year where we had a guy like um, off on his farm and he had a bad cell service or something like that. But <laughs> you know, we ended up getting it and we ended up getting a hold of him and, and getting his pick in and everything. But, uh, did, did you have to like launch a Raven out there? <laughs> Is that we should, we should have, we should have that, especially <laughs> for him. He's, he's, he's uh, I think he's out in Nebraska and it was like a little oh, tough to get a hold of him. But, um, yeah, he, he made it towards the end too, which is, which is uh, pretty cool until he busted out. But, um, yeah, I mean, we'll make every single effort we can, um, to do that with the millions. It's a little different. You know, some of those guys just get dialed out and we'll just end up turning random picks in for them to make sure you get something. And you never know sometimes, especially in those smaller contests, um, you know, we've been known to put in some some lucky picks for people that have helped them win money. So we'll, we'll see what happens this year. But, yeah, that's just another well, added bonus for our service. It's, it's a great point because that just makes it even more positive EVs. Let's say there's no overlay, which I think there might be a little overlay. We'll see. Could be. In the I, I, mean, I, I don't think Survivor, there's any chance yeah. it can be one. But, 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 but that just shows that there's more money in the pot because – they're, not everybody has a great proxy like you that's going to put in picks. And by the way, when you're putting in picks, you're doing them randomly. You're not taking a sharp analysis or anything like that. Any bad money in the contest is always more positive EV for you as well. But in this situation, there's people that live in Vegas that will give up on it. Maybe they have money. Maybe, you know, thought, yep. not a big deal for them. And it, that happens all the time. And that just makes the quarterlies and the small contests also worth a lot more to you, doesn't it, Maddie? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, some of our sharper clients, even last year, like the last month of the season, they just kind of realized it wasn't going to be their year and they just kind of dialed out and, you know, we just put it in random picks for them and whatever. And that was that, but that you take those guys out of the equation and yeah, you're going to give yourself a better chance. I mean, there's a, there's a good chunk of people every year that towards the end of the season, especially when you get around the holidays, you get Christmas, you get new year's. Um, yeah, I think last year, what was it? Uh, I think new year's Eve was on a, a, a Sunday. So people were celebrating the day, or it was on Saturday. I'm trying to remember. It might have been. I'm trying to remember that Raiders, that Raiders Niners games was here, was here oh. last year, and I, I, it was like the, that was a tough one. It was like the biggest game here uh, yet, where it was just tons of people uh, had interest in the game because they knew they could get, come here for New Year's Eve and then go to the game. I, I want to say it might have been on uh, New Year's Day last year, if I if I remember correctly. But I mean, you get the you get people. <laughs> try to put their picks in on New Year's Eve and, you know, all, all hell breaks loose. You never know. So oh. uh, th those are definitely the biggest challenges. I'm, I'm glad to see those kind of in the rear view mirror that and Christmas being, you know, now Christmas, I think this year is on a Monday. Uh, so that's uh, Christmas Eve will be Sunday. We won't have to be going into the office at the sports books on, on either of those days, which is nice. Yeah, that's definitely nice. You can have some Turkey at home and relax a little bit. That is good for you, my man. Well, that's, that's great. Where could our listeners and viewers go in, sign up, and get in these big contests? Well, we have all the information at footballcontest.com. If you go there, you can learn about the proxy service. You can learn about the, the contest we do proxy for. And they're only the pro ones this year. We, we uh, didn't have uh, William Hill this year for the college contest, unfortunately. So we're just going all in on the Circus Sports Million, Circus Survivor, and the Super Contest this year. And we'll see what happens. But those are the big ones the biggest contests um in nevada and um yeah you can find out about all about the payouts and how to sign up how to schedule an appointment to meet with us just about everything you need to know is right there on the website so go check it out footballcontest.com make sure you check out football contest now come down and see us i will be with maddie during those days i'm going to be obviously broadcasting but i'm going to be coming down visiting him and tony in the circa uh, might even check out the Westgate as well, but he's going to be in both places. But from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., you, you can visit him or make an appointment, which is more preferred, obviously, at his website. But we'll have some free stuff to give away. Make sure you check him out. Thanks so much, Maddie, yeah. for coming just on. One, one more thing. Just usually we're in the there in the mornings, but as uh, the days go on, we're, we're becoming, like especially the weekends, we're going to have more extended hours available. So always a good thing to just check with us, go to our website, send us an email, and find out our availability so we can get you signed up. Great stuff. Get in these contests. We'll see you in Vegas. Thanks a lot, Maddie. Thank you.